a narrow escape for the man leading WA's COVID-19 response. I was there for an hour and 45, arrived, had, had a couple of drinks, went on my way. But anyone who spent more than two hours at Gage Roads Brewery, where the Premier was also enjoying a drink on Friday evening, must isolate for seven days from their time of exposure after nine people who were at the venue tested positive. And patrons at several other bars and pubs have been given similar directions due to fears they were potential super spreader events. Hey guys, how are you going? For businesses already struggling with staff shortages, COVID isolation rules are starting to hurt. Over the past three months, we've had you know a number of uh, staffing shortages just due to the borders being closed and there's a, a big demand in hospitality for skilled staff. Um, now with the listed exposure sites from Sunday night, um, we've got four staff currently in uh, self-isolation because they were at those venues. Members, uh, are there any questions? Today marks four weeks since the WA Premier cancelled the February 5 border reopening. So, Premier, can you please confirm that you have not followed the advice of the Chief Health Officer to complete a review within four weeks of making the decision to defer our, our uh, border reopening dates? The Premier. No, I can't confirm that. Uh, as we said on the uh, day, uh, that uh, we would consider all these matters uh, over the course of February, which I think was a wise decision. We can't plan for the future. We're kind of just waiting and that waiting game is almost more stressful for us because we don't know what's going to happen. Economist Conrad Liveris is not convinced workers will flood into WA when it does open up. Every state, the whole world is um, understaffed at the moment. This is an issue going on everywhere. And so why would they come here when we've been telling them, do not come here? Um, and so we're actually behind the eight ball in uh, bringing more people from interstate and overseas here. In the meantime, WA's unemployment rate remains low at 3.7%, with the participation rate now the highest it's been in nearly a decade. Rhiannon Shine, ABC News.